welcome back i'm so happy to be here with you thank you for watching today i'm going to share newest recipe that god inspired me called delicious lentil burger it's going to be very simple and once you learn how to how i'm making it you say wow i want to try that so please stay tuned okay first you have to have lentil to make a delicious lentil burger but this one what i did i soaked them and just overnight probably takes only two or three hours to soak it how do you know it's ready to use it you take it out just break it with your fingernail then it is ready and uh, while i was preparing this lentil burger recipe i uh, found that the, the health benefit is amazing so i want to share with you as i use here lentil this is two cups but one cup of lentil has 32 gram protein that's my daily allowance for protein and 48 gram fiber you know, do you know how many uh, grams you need for fiber for daily allowance? All you need to need 5 grams to 30 grams. So it's so much more here. High in iron, B vitamins, potassium, selenium, calcium, magnesium. Did I say right? <laughs> I'm learning how to say magnesium. My husband is my English teacher. <laughs> and it will lower your cholesterol, lower your blood pressure, wonderful for heart diseases. And selenium, this is such a good news. Selenium may decrease the rate that tumor grows. So if you are suffering from tumor, put some eat less lentil in your diet. So first what you need to do, you need a blender. So I'm going to put two cups, soak lentil in a blender. I'm going to get it all out. Okay. No, there's a few more here. Then next, you will need one cup water. Then I am going to blend coarsely. Do not blend until smooth. So it takes only a few seconds to blend it. So I'm gonna turn it on. That's it, about nine seconds. Simple. Then after that, you need to go ahead and dump it to your mixing bowl. I'm going to move this one. I need some elbow room. Okay. Take it out. And I'll need some spatula and take it all out. And I was so excited when Lo impressed me this recipe. It was such a delicious recipe and so easy to make. All right. Put it here. Next one what you need. We need a binder, so oat flour. So if you don't have any oat flour, what you need to do is put some quick oil or just regular oat to make a flour consistency. This is, a, we don't use any egg. This is a plant-based uh, recipe. We don't use egg or cheese, any meat. So next one, which is another binding, ground flax seed. Do you know that ground flax seed is very high in omega-3 and best for the brain function? Eating flexi daily, you will have less chance to have a stroke. Very good news. Lower risk of breast cancer and help regulate your blood sugar for the diabetes and lower your cholesterol 
and prevent constipation. So every day I'm, I'm taking a two tablespoon uh, ground flexi for my uh, diet and it really works for me. And next one you will need a half cup pecan meal. Pecan meal is like a kind of a pecan flower texture that uh, if you have pecans at home, at home the only thing to do is just blend it in your blender to make a consist flower consistency. Or you can order it from online or just go to health food store and they will have it. And now I will need a unfermented soy sauce. The next one you will need two tablespoons nutrition yeast flakes. And this is a, gives such a good flavor. Then I'm using about one tablespoon habanero sugar. And you will need a garlic powder onion powder and dry parsley flakes. Oh, by the way, by the way, we are going to list the uh, recipe in the description. So, uh, you can download it so you can practice at home the healthy burger. Then after that, uh, you need to have fun with your hand but this is really sticky so I'm gonna go and wear the sanitizer glove and uh, mix it oh I can already smell it the smell is so good but I know what we're gonna have for lunch today we're gonna have a lentil burger <laughs> this is how simple it is oh, totally mix it if you are watching my program regularly, you know that I spend a lot of time mixing. So since we have some oat flour here, when you let it set for about at least 10 to 20 minutes, it will get thickened. But since we are on cooking show, then I don't have the 10 to 20 minutes to wait. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a burger. I need some move around here. Ja -ja. <laughs> this is my brand new, what do you call it? Gas burner. And we got this one for the cooking shop. So, hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna turn this one. Look at that, look at the flame is really high it's gonna cook really fast too so i'm gonna let it heat it up and you need to wear another sanitizer gloves and i'll show you how to make oh but can you see the pen good good okay i'm gonna go and put some about one tablespoon olive oil cooking oil anything you like to use then take some about this much then make a patty with your hand and put it like this it's a really simple recipe and you will receive a lot of health benefit oh look at that it's already already seasoning I love this seasoning sound. Maybe I can mix one more. You know, since this is a homemade burger, then you don't have to be a exact size. Oh, can you smell it? I wish I can. Send your smell. The smell is so good. All right. It takes about a few minutes to brown. Then you can turn it over and cook both sides until nice and brown. And I know you will enjoy it, your family will enjoy it. You can use it as a hamburger substitute. Uh, this is, has no fat whatsoever. 
except I'm adding a little uh, oil to cook them. Somehow you're allergic to oil. I know some people there on fat-free diet. But you can bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Then you can turn it over and bake five more minutes and then it will come out perfect. Let me see. First one. Yeah, I will cook a little longer, but it's already almost done here. Yeah. Oh, this is, I like this one. I like the color. Yeah, it's getting there. So, while we are cooking, I want to share finished product with you. And once it's cooked nice and brown like this, then you can serve with the vegetables and with the hamburger bun and you can enjoy and delicious lentil burgers. So I thank you for watching and see you until next program. May God richly bless you.